say virginity. <laughs> so on that note, our next comedian is from a really cool state. We're gonna learn so much about her. Her name is Sarah Haskins. <laughs>
she wasn't what you'd call a sports mom. She was more of like a let's like let's have fun mom. <laughs> so she but she always but she always made a really good point of being at all of our stuff. But she wasn't a sports mom. So like she with her little like knowledge of sports or just little care for sports, she made up just interchangeable phrases she would say anytime she came to any of our events. And like they oh it was always one of these three things. It was always like get them, which like could be the ball or the opponent works for everything. <laughs> um, send them packing. <laughs> just sit with that. I had to sit with it for quite a few years. Send them packing. And then the always helpful, yeah! Like that always that always helps the game. No, really, it definitely helped the game. And not only me, but like my teammates. Because at least if we were losing, we could like laugh at something, you know? <laughs> uh no, but uh no, in all in all sincerity, my mom is a bad bitch. Yeah. And like I know a lot of people like would think that could, that could have a negative connotation, but like, no, my mom is in the best way a bad bitch. Like, I would put her on par with like Michelle Obama and Cher. Whoa. She's a bad bitch, okay? So like, she so she had two loves of her life, two great loves of her life, and like both of them, she she didn't compromise anything. She was full on herself. And I'll tell you the stories. So the first one she met was my dad, right? So she met my dad on her 24th birthday which set way too high expectations for my 24th birthday. <laughs> and I just ended up throwing up behind a dumpster and calling her to cry about it. <laughs> Stellar birthday. So anyway, so she meets him, she's, you know, turned 24, she's sloshed. And he comes up to her and is just like, hey, can I buy you a drink? And she's just like, it's my birthday, you can buy me two. And so he goes up to the, bar, up to the bar and buys four tequila shots, two for her, two for himself. And my mom already has a drink in her hand. She goes up, takes all four of the tequila shots, pours them in the drink she already has, and downs it. So he's already sold. <laughs> like, he's like her. So later, later in the night, he goes up and is like, hey, can I have your number? And like the bad bitch she is, is just like, listen, I'm not gonna be like sitting around waiting by the phone for you. So like, if you wanna call, I'll give you my number. But if you're not gonna call, don't waste my time. And he was like, I live in love with her. <laughs> He's like, let's have three mediocre kids and call it a day. <laughs> and that's just what they did. <laughs> they did, they had three of us. And no, but like, she, she's a bad bitch. She held it down even when he got really sick. She took him to every appointment. She was like working full time, raising three kids. She went back and got her bachelor's of science in nursing. She's a bad bitch, right? Snap for yeah. bad bitch, come on. And um. And no, but like all this time, so she even got elected to be the, my college I went to, the University of Iowa Mother of the Year. Oh. Amazing, right? Who knew that that existed? Yeah. But, but yeah, and, and I, I, mm, I can't agree with that. Um, <laughs> I'm joking. Um, no, and like, honestly, like I'm really glad she got it, but I wrote the essay that got her this honor and she still hasn't thanked me on Facebook. Damn. Like she thanked, she thanked me person to person, but like I would like a post. Like I, you're on the shit enough. I I would like a post, but no. So then when my dad passed away, you know she grieved for a bit, but like you can't keep a bad bitch down, right? Yeah. So she got right back out there. So she so she meets the second guy, Mark, and I like Mark. He's cool, but I'm not gonna call him dad. Um, I'm not. He's nice. He's whatever. Um, that was a joke. He's cool. I like him. Every, everybody, I, everybody was just everybody's buttholes was just like <laughs> like that. No, um, no, Mark's cool. So she met Mark when she was at a football game for the, the big college rivalry, the Iowa State game, big college rivalry for us, I should say. So she meets him. She's in these box seats because she's not gonna be sitting down in the bleachers like a pleb. Important <laughs> to note that I was sitting in the bleachers at that game. Um, no, so she's up in the box and she you know gets to talking to Mark and his friend. And Mark is just like, hey, I'm gonna go to the bar, do you want something to drink? And she's like, yeah, I'll have a Coors Light. So he goes to the bar, they don't have Coors Light. So she, he comes back and is just like, hey, like, I'm sorry, they didn't have Coors Light, can I get you anything else? And she just looks at him and is like, if you were a gentleman, you'd find me a Coors Light. <laughs> and he, and he, his eyes just like, he's like, I'm a gentleman, I'll be right back. And so he went box to box to box trying to find her Coors Light. He ended up leaving the game, going back to his tailgate spot, getting her a Coors Light, and coming back. And all of this took him like 20 minutes. And so the time he gets back, he like gives her the Coors Light and is just like, 
chivalry is alive and well. There's your Coors Light, my, my lady. And uh, she's just like, it's a little warm. Uh, <laughs> is that I think we all need to be a little more like Amy. We need to embrace our inner bad bitch. Like, yeah. ladies and gays, we don't have to put, like, the men below us. They do that enough without us helping them. <laughs> but we do need to put ourselves where we belong, and that is absolutely above the men, okay? Yeah. Thank you guys so much. I'm Sarah Asimov. <laughs>